Hello everybody, Steven here. Welcome back to my channel. So yes, got a haul o rama here for you. Um, I kind of splurged and went a little over budget, <laughs> but I figured I'd treat myself. I, I'm normally crafted on such a tight budget and I thought I'd treat myself to some, to some items. Um, and in my defense, uh, I looked for good deals um, and took advantage of really good coupons uh, for most of this stuff. So I got much of it at a great price and I'll explain it as I go too. But um, I'm very happy with the things I got um, and I'm glad to add them to my crafting collection. So first up, I'll do my Joann's haul, the stuff I picked up from Joann's and it's almost exclusively Tim Holtz. Um, since I've grown to really enjoy distressing things and junk journaling um, and things like that, um, I decided to invest in more Tim Holtz items. Um, I really love Tim Holtz products. They're definitely good quality premium products. I, I highly, highly enjoy them and recommend them if you're into that aesthetic, and I am, the kind of vintage aesthetic. So without further ado, Let's get to it. So the first thing I got, um, and at my local Joann's, um, I have the app downloaded on my phone, and online only, um, all their Tim Holtz items were 20 or 30% off. I think they were 30% off, um, maybe 20%, I don't remember. But I also stacked a 20% off online only, and pe I picked it up in store coupon on top of that. So I ended up with 40 or 50% off of all these items. Super deal. So I took advantage of it. Um, that's one cool thing about Joann's, I think, is that they let you stack coupons like that in a lot of cases. So that's what I did. Um, so the first thing I got was this Distress Oxide Spray, and I've been so wanting to try it. Um, you've seen in previous videos where I take my Distress Oxide ink pads, and I take my ink pad blender applicator and then spray water on it um, and I wanted to try the spray and that's what this is and I got it in vintage photo and walnut stain are these two shades so very happy about that can't wait to try it out and then I also got it in barn door red and fossilized amber this kind of yellowish color and so playing with these colors is going to be fun um, spraying them onto whatever porous surface I'm going to use, paper or vellum maybe, or cardstock, and then mixing it with water, spritzing some water, splattering some water on it, and creating awesome modeled effects and things like that. Should be a lot of fun. So there's that one. And then I also picked up, this was on sale actually, for even cheaper than their normal ones. So I I have Distress Oxide. I have a pink one in, called Flamingo Kitsch, which is a kind of a brighter pink. This is more of a muted pink. They call it Saltwater Taffy. So I thought that was pretty. And this was only $4.89, and then plus my 20% off coupon. Um, so I got a good deal on that. And then I wanted to try the Distress Crayons out. These are just crayons that have the Distress Pigment ink. Um, yeah, pigments actually. It's got pigments in it. So I wanted to try these out because it says it reacts to water. Um, and it's got Vintage Photo, Walnut Stain, Antique Linen. Oh, these shades are awesome. Hickory Smoke. I've got these in my ink pads. Black Soot. And then Picket Fence White. So I'm going to actually try this out really quick because I'm curious. I'm going to try the Walnut Stain. Yeah, it's a crayon. And then you twist it and it comes up. Ooh, that just glides right on. Try that one out, then a lighter shade of brown, a 
with the vintage photo. You can mix these with the, uh, use these along with the distress sprays and the ink pads for different effects, and then the antique linen. And it comes in a nifty carrying case, actually, so be able to keep those in there. Now I'm going to blend them together. A little bit. That's neat. And then I want to see how it reacts to water. I'm just going to kind of splatter some water onto there really quick. And I found with the spray bottle, you pull it down forcefully once and it does a fine mist. You just lightly press it down part of the way and it dribs out a little more, creates droplets. Got to be really careful to apply very little force. It's kind of shooting out. Anyways, let that sit for a bit. Okay, moving along. I picked up this Tim Holtz design tape. It's washi tape. And you can see the designs on it. I thought they're very cool, very Tim Holtz. I love it. Yeah, these are very cool. So it's got all these the same size kind of skinnier ones and then it's got a wider one at the bottom. Down. Nope, they're all the same size. I'm wrong. So yeah, some Tim Holtz washi tape. These would be great in the junk journals and accenting ephemera and then I got some more mini felt pads for my ink blending tool I'm gonna be needing these so I picked up another box of these package of those and then I got a pair I needed a pair of good scissors uh, the scissors I had just were not good they were not sharp and I wanted to invest, invest excuse me in a pair of quality scissors that are good for fussy cunning and these I think will be perfect. Um, they're Tim Holtz tonic brand scissors. They're seven inch titanium snip micro serrated. Um, so these are the scissors I was working with, these scotch scissors. And these things are not sharp and for fussy cutting just not cool. These Tim Holtz ones have a shorter blade, so they'll be more ideal for fussy cutting things out, which will be super nice. 
And these Tim Holtz ones also come with a blade guard. And super comfortable handles. Yeah, these are great. It says Tim Holtz on them and tonic. So very happy with these and they look super sharp. And it's modeling it a little bit. It's not the same as Distress Oxide, but still very cool. Oh, these are so sharp. Wow. It just glides right through this cardstock. Oh yeah, that's going to make fussy cutting so much easier. Wonderful. Yes, very happy with these. I'm super glad I invested in these. Okay, moving right along. Again, for junk journaling, this is mostly stuff for junk journaling and ephemera and scrapbooking and collaging. Um, all this Tim Holtz stuff. I picked up these mini paper clips. They're like tarnished. They look antique -y, and I thought they were so absolutely adorable. So let me grab one of them and try and get enough close so you can kind of see. This is, aren't these adorable? They're so freaking cute. Little antique -y looking paper clips just to hold bits of ephemera, tags together, things like that, photos. Wonderful. Now I've mixed them all together. So gather these all up and put them back in the package or try to. Okay, and then next I invested in this, the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. It's just basically a mini stapler that uses these itty bitty staples. <laughs> Look at how cute these staples are. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. And they'll be perfect for stapling things together in a junk journal or bits of ephemera together, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, I'll be able to use these, maybe even in my card making, and then I can hide the staple with something that I need to attach. Um, the tiny attacher staple, yeah, they're only a quarter inch across, so they're super tiny. Um, and I can use this, you know, to staple other things as well, but it'll mostly be for crafting. Um, so... Comes with... 90 tiny staples, but I picked up a replacement pack of staples, 1,550 tiny staples. So I've got plenty of staples for a while. Oh, that feels good in the hand. Yeah, very smooth. And then... I'm not sure how you load this thing. Hmm. Well, that does that. Oh, that's how you do it. Then it flips open, and then you load the staples in there. Easy peasy. Awesome. I've been eyeballing this for a while, so very happy with that as well. Now, the next crafty thing I got is a splatter brush. I've been eyeballing this for a while too. Now, to create a splatter effect, on some distress inked items. These have these thick 
plastic bristles. And so you basically, you dip it in your medium. You know, it can be the ink, the dye, the paint, alcohol inks, things like that, or just water. And then you hold it in the middle, lift the bristles toward you and point it at your project and then release it. And that's what the instructions say. Slowly release the bristles to create the splatters. Or you can just kind of go like that. Create splatters like that too. Or judge it on there and see what kind of effects you get with modeling, modeling in it. So yeah, pick that up, splatter brush. So that'll be fun to try out. Okay, next I picked up some transparent things too. 33 pieces of transparent ephemera. So that shows you what you get on the back. I love Tim Holtz ephemera. i am got a collection of it now and I'm adding to it. I just think it's so awesome. And I use it quite a bit in my junk journaling and scrapbooking slash collaging. And these are great because they're transparent. A bit of gloss to it. So yeah, you got a ephemera, all sorts of great bits in here. These flowers are really pretty. And a bird there. Oh, look at these birds. Wow. Very pretty. So, very happy with these. A little bit of mixed media. And then next, one of the ephemera packs I don't have, this is the C Collector Wares. Doesn't show what you get in the back. But I just, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Where does he get this stuff? Where does he curate these things from? <laughs> I just I have no idea. I mean, what, what, what is that? It's just got a bunch of numbers in red and black. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Time return and delay report of engine and tray employees. These are great layering pieces. Uh, we got a ticket or a tag, excuse me. That's a great tag. Another tag. Almanac. Oh, that's cool. Torn edges. So, yes, there's another one of those. That's a cool ephemera pack. And I have to remind myself, I can cut up these larger bits of ephemera too and use it. And then I got these Tim Holtz mini file folders. Of course, they're Tim Holtz. Get eight of these. And I thought these would be great for junk journals and scrapbooks and things like that. And I can alter these as I see fit. I can get a little sander and sand some of the gloss off of it and then distress it with some distress ink and then make great little pockets 
in a junk journal or make a smaller junk journal and have these as part of the signature. These would be pages, ready-made pockets, where you just glue it on like this and then make a closure here like I did in one of the pages of my junk journal. Or you can just use it to hold ephemera, but they're really cool looking. All these great distressed, I like that one. That one's awesome. Small tab folders for creating junk journals and mini books. Yep. Okay, next up, more Tim Holtz. I wanted to try this, so I got collage paper. And this is aviary collage paper. You get six yards of it. And it measures one, two, three, four, five, six, a little over six inches high. No, actually it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six inches high. No, I misspoke again. Yeah, yeah, it's six inches high. I apologize. And then you get six yards and it's super thin. And I'm assuming it's got repeats in it, but isn't that awesome? The music notes in the background. almost translucent. It's like really thin wax paper and so really good for cutting apart and then mod podging onto things um, just to create layering or like as a background. Um, a lot of ways to use this. A lot of ways to use it. This is a really pretty design. I love all the birds on it. And then all the things in the background. Really cool. And I love this tube that it comes in, really handy. And then I got another one here. This is Document, which I thought looked really awesome. Same dimensions, six yards by six inches. That is really cool. Wow, look at that. Awesome. And then you can just cut out bits that you want to use and affix it to the item of your choosing. It takes a while for it to repeat, but it does repeat. And this could be the background of a master board. Or if you just want to keep it simple, just have it be the master board period. Just get a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and Mod Podge this on it and then cut it up and boom. Okay, the last two things I got are not Tim Holtz, they're just uh, Joanne's brand of Parkland and I got tags and ivory, 25 pieces, they're large tags and then craft color. 25 pieces. So just some blank tags that I can distress, embellish, alter, do whatever with. Pretty cool. Now I picked up some stuff at Dollar Tree, mostly storage solutions. So um, I have jute cord but for tags i also picked up this kind of off-white cream cotton twine but also for string for tags and i don't necessarily have to use string in each one but i like to a lot of my tags i have this awesome already distressed looking jute twine jute j-u-t-e 
that I love using for tags. And it's got a great, almost petroleum-like smell that, for some reason, I like the smell of it. Um, it's like it's oiled or something, which maybe it is. It was in the automotive section, hardware section of the Dollar Tree. But also from the Dollar Tree, I got these, and I use these uh, to carry hold craft supplies, these button envelopes, two pieces, super handy. Um, I also got to carry like works in progress, my whips um, or things to be crafted, some file folders, three of these. And I thought the modeled coloring on these was awesome. And then I also got two of these to hold tools and bits and bobs and things like that. Super handy. And this kind of glitter blue. And then to hold smaller bits and bobs, craft and bead storage, you get four of these. And so I thought that was awesome. And then for, I thought, I was thinking those small paper clips, um, these little store, plastic storage containers. Yeah, they're plastic with the pop cap lid. So sorry about the crinkling, by the way. And then to hold other stuff, I picked up this index card box. They had just gotten these in at the one of my local Dollar Trees. So this will be handy for holding stuff. For sure. I also picked up some microfiber cleaning cloths and I figured this would be good. I picked up a pack of these and some washcloths with scrubbers on the other side. Good for cleaning up my area. Um, I also picked up from the Dollar Tree, not going to be able to show the whole thing, a couple of sheets of white poster board. These were only 50 cents each. And I picked up extra plastic wrap for when I use that spray, the uh, oxide spray, to contain my mess. And then I picked up two of these big old, uh, f like, foam boards. These things are huge. Uh, both to cover with saran wrap, or sorry, plastic wrap and work on and to let stuff dry, like when I do vellum and paper and various other paper mediums. So that's what I got from the Dollar Tree. Next up, Michaels. So Michaels, the first thing I'm going to show you, and I've had my eye on this for a while, one of the other channels I watch, made by Lauren and company, Lauren, um, she makes cards, a lot of beautiful cards, among other things. Um, love her channel. You should check her channel out. Made by Lauren M, as in Michael and company. Um, she got one of these, and I saw her using it, and I'm like, it just seemed like it made the process of card making so much easier. So I, pick up an, I picked up this at Michael's, the ATG Advanced Tape Player. These things are not cheap. Um, even on Amazon, I saw it was around $56, $50 for one of these new. Um, and so at my local Michaels, I first placed an online order for a couple of paper pads that I'll show in a second. And then when I went to pick, pick it up, I saw that they had this. They had one left. But the box was kind of mangled and broken. And it looked like it had been opened, obviously. I had already, I've already opened this and placed these in here. And so when I went to go check out with um, a couple of other things that I picked up while I was there, some more card stock, um, I asked if they would be willing to give me a discount since the box was messed up. Um, and also it was missing the two spare rolls that it's supposed to come with, apparently, um, if they'd be willing to give me a discount. So they gave me a 30% discount on this. So I was very happy about that. Um, and it's pink. <laughs> so this is the ATG tape runner in pink. Awesome shade of like 
almost fuchsia pink. And basically, yeah, come you put double-sided tape into here, thread it through, and then this holds the uh, backing. And then squeeze the trigger and zoom, makes it super easy. So doing cards, I'll just be able to end the corners really quick. Bam, 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 bam. Nice and quick. And I've used the smaller disposable tape runners before and they run out so fast. Um, and so I picked up these two refill rolls for paper. Uh, and it comes with two rolls of each, and each one has 36 yards in it, quarter of an inch wide. And so this will last me quite a while. So awesome for my card making. Um, no more having to hand, at least until I get used to this. There's going to be a learning curve for me learning how to use this thing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. She said the tape is super sticky, so like very thick, sticky, and it's permanent, so I'm going to have to be careful. Anyways, moving along. Then, in keeping up with Halloween that's coming up, I picked up some citrus cardstock. This was on sale at Michael's for $4.99. And then you buy one and you get one at half the price. So I picked up black. So I got black in different shades of orange and yellow. But I got them mostly for this, these two oranges here. So, yeah, I have some Halloween dies. Halloween dies and stamps, so that'll go nicely with that. And speaking of Halloween, they had just gotten these in at uh, Michael's. Michael's Recollections Collection, the Witch's Lair Halloween paper pad. And these were on sale as well. So, I'm going to flip through these. I apologize, I should have taken the tape off beforehand. Steven, Steven, Steven. Boy, that is some sticky tape. There's that one. Bear with me, folks. I want to be able to show you because looking at these pictures, I was like, oh, yes, I've got to get this. Make some Halloween themed cards. Ooh, goodness, that's really on there. Sometimes the tape that holds these paper pads together closed rather is not super sticky other times like this it's super sticky okay so it comes with 24 sheets and this is witch's layer they're not double-sided unfortunately really thick cardstock but look at these toppers and these tags here Oh my goodness, aren't these awesome? Look at that. Look at all the foil accents. Look at that cat. Oh, and that witch's hat. That is so awesome. If the shoe fits, oh. Mushrooms in there, a bug, eyeballs, a toad, witch's broom. Oh, so cool. And it looks like you get two of each. And then you get coordinating backgrounds. Look at all these bugs on this mottled orange background with gold dots. So cool. Oh, ravens and roses and skulls. And then big, big toppers. Look at the size of these. Witches wanted a haunted house, bats, Gravestones come in for a spell. <laughs> and the cauldron. The colors are just great on this. That's a big part of what drew me to it. Oh, look at all the cobwebs. 
Oh, more toppers. Cut apart some circle ones here. These are great. Fungi, I can't pronounce that. It must be Latin. Brain of mortal. Unfiltered and preserved. <laughs> Charmed serpent scales. Nine ounce serpents. Premium crushed beetles. Wings and legs incorporated. Poison, powdered moth wings, arsenic full potency. Wow. Holdren cleaning paste. Grade A. Hair of black cat. <laughs> Rancid aromatics. Look at that cat. Holy moly. Another coordinating background. Oh, look at this background. Look at all these jars. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look at that background. Mottled black and gray, splattered gold. So many gold foil accents in this. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at these down here. Oh my goodness. So that is that one. Witch's Lair. Very cool. And then this one is Violet Grove, Recollections Halloween. Not as much orange and black, but purple and violet, blue, my favorite colors. So again, I did not take the tape off of this, I apologize. But we have got to get the full, the full effect going on here. That one's not quite as sticky. Which is nice. Still, when you don't have fingernails, and you don't want to take a scraper to this thing and totally mess up the front. Hey, caramba. This one is sticky. Okay. Sure, there's people out there screaming, just open it already. I'm sorry. Uh, there's part of it. Okay, got it. Okay. Violet Grove. Oh, look at the snakes. If you don't like snakes, this may not be the uh, <laughs> paper pad for you. Or if you're not into Halloween, which is fair. Oh, look at that. Blue and gold foil. Oh, that's cool. The skull and the purple, violet, mushrooms there, the broken glass. That is so cool. And I'm not even a big, huge Halloween person. Don't get me wrong, I like Halloween, but I don't get like super into it or nothing. I don't wear a costume or anything, but I saw these and just was like, look at that snake scale. Oh, that is so cool. The skulls and the flowers. If you find this too morbid, totally understand. This might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I think these are awesome. Beautiful and creepy at the same time. Look at these toppers, these cut-aparts. Welcome, foolish mortals. Green is the new black. 
Viper Venom, 100% lethal, no additives. Lover's Tears, Magic Love Potion, True Love is Eternal. Two snakes. Pick your poison, scary things grow here. Eternal Love, Creep It Real. Certified Organic Butterfly Wing. You get two of each one. This nice heavy cardstock, too. That is beautiful. Look at that. Venus flytrap there in the foreground. Gorgeous. I'd almost not want to cut these up. Oh, butterflies. That is so beautiful. Look at all the blue, all the shades of blue and the gold accents, and then the spider webs in the background. They did a really good job with this. Look at all the purple mushrooms. Oop, snakes. Look at all the snakes. <laughs> That's a lot of snakes. I don't have a problem with snakes. In fact, I think they're kind of cool. Not that I'd have one as a pet or anything, but I don't have a problem with them. But I think this is cool. Look at all the gold accents on these. Oh, that's so pretty. Flowers with Venus flytraps, spider webs in the background. Oh, some belly band type things. Let's be spooky together. Butterflies, skulls, floral, pick your poison, some nice tags. Make some great cards out of this. Anyways, those two Halloween ones. Very cool. Very happy with that. So next, <laughs> I'm not done yet. I also ordered some stuff from Amazon. Um, I needed some new Distress Oxide inks, and I decided to try Amazon. And I got four of these for, I think, like $22 or $23, which is a pretty good price for these ink pads. And, Normal, regular price at like Joann's, these are anywhere from like $7 to $7.50. So not bad, not bad price. And I got Wilted Violet. I have a Villainous Potion, which is a darker shade of purple. So this is lighter. And then my Vintage Photo pad that I have is really dry. And so this is a new one. Glad about that. And then what I really wanted for inking the edges of ephemera and things like that is a darker shade of brown in this walnut stain. This is what I really wanted. Um, so I went ahead and got it in the four pack. Um, walnut stain. This is going to be really great to use. And then this is just like a bonus. Ice spruce. This kind of grayish greenish bluish i'm not sure but it's a cool shade ice spruce i think it's one of their newer shades one of his newer shades don't quote me on that but i think so anyways so i picked those up very happy about that and then ephemera i thought i'd check this out loads of ephemera and unforgivable Unforgivable, unforgettable vintage sticker book over 580 stickers. So it's ephemera sticker book. I have not gone through this yet. And yes, it's a book, so we'll flip through it really quick. And it looks like it's got white backing, so if you don't like that, then be aware of that. But you can ink the edges of these as you see fit. Oh, look at the backgrounds. That's cool. The backs of the sticker pages. Or you can fussy cut around the white. Or some of these, like these numbers here, come with the yellow background. But these are great. Travel, gears, and a steampunk. Circus. Oh, sad clown, happy clown. Oh, that's cool. More circus. Sorry, I keep 
flipping past a page. Well, these are pretty. Very cool. Floral, some butterflies. Oop, skull. Got some Halloween stuff here. Halloween stuff here. Oh, cool. Victorian. Some florals, some fauna. A bear. A bunny rabbit and a squirrel. Or I guess that's a chipmunk. Some fruit and veggies. Huh, that's interesting. Oops, look right past that page. That's cool. I like that. And that telescope, old vintage telescope. Oh, some sea creatures. An uh, octopus. Some crustaceans. Oh, that's cool. A battleship. Steamship. Animals. More animals. More Victorian stuff and looks like 50s. <laughs> Look at the kitty in the top hat. That's so cool. And oh, no, all the kitties. Beware of cat. <laughs> a house is not a home without a dog. Aw. Look at all the doggos. Oh, is that a pug and a top hat and a monocle and a bow tie? I think so. Do you love pugs? <laughs> and some holidays. Birthday. Well, that's really cool. These are some great stickers. I like these. And the last thing in this haul, I wanted to try one of their scrapbook kits. So I got this one. 1,768 pieces, scrapbook, stickers, boo, creative, DIY, art, craft, journals, made in China. And I haven't opened it yet. It says thank you and have a nice day. So we are going to go through this, not every piece, because this video will be even longer than it already is. But we're just going to kind of quickly go through the box. And I want to thank you all for sticking through as long as you have now, because this is a longer video. I much appreciate y'all joining me. Boy, that's hard to get in. I'm trying not to pierce the box, because I think I want to keep a lot of this stuff possibly in the box until I figure out a better place to put it. So these scissors are very sharp, so I'm being careful to cut away from me. There. See? Using these scissors already. Okay. Oh, look at that. They come with... Ne I actually needed a good pair of needle bent nose tweezers. These feel solid, too. These do not feel cheap. They come with a protector. Yeah, these are some good tweezers. Black with silver tips. Awesome. Very happy about that. I didn't know these came with tweezers. Huh. So, this first packet gives you an idea of what's in here. Don't know what's in here. Oh, they're like a pet or a washi st stickers or sticker pages. Nope, they're stickers. They're like washi stickers.
Oh, it did say it came with stickers. These are cool. Oh, these are great. Absinthe. <laughs> Oh, look at these. More stickers. Oh, these are awesome. Oh, these are so cool. Some tags, postcards, envelopes, tickets. I said we aren't going to go through all of these. Here we are going through all of them. <laughs> and then this one looks like more stickers. Are these all stickers? Or are there some papers in here? These are stickers as well. Maybe they're all stickers. Maybe I have a huge collection of stickers now. These are super cool. Cherubs. These are adorable. Oh my goodness. Holiday themed ones. Nice. I'm not going to put that back in there. I think these may be all stickers. Yeah, they're all stickers. <laughs> Holy moly. I've got a lot of stickers. These are great. Vintage, ephemera, stickers. Is that in Russian? Huh. Kind of 50s vibe here. Old magazine. Look at that. Popular science. That is so cool. And then we've got these. Oh, these are super cute. Oh, look at the rabbit. And a little rabbit. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. Alice from Alice in Wonderlands. Alice in Wonderland. Excuse me. Super cool. And then this one. Ah, uh, we got some mushrooms. Love me some mushrooms. Some butterflies. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. These are so colorful. Oh, my goodness. Look at that one. Wow. The eyeball coming out of the hand. So many decorations for junk journaling, scrapbooking, ephemera. Sorry, flamingos talking to each other. Sorry, it's kind of hard to flip through these when it gets toward the end. Some mushrooms. We're almost done, folks. This is the last one. Able to flip through 1,700 plus stickers surprisingly quickly. Oh, these are neat. I kind of 
don't even know what these are. The Illustrated Sporting News, Old Sporting. An old Nutella advertisement. Oh, <laughs> wow. Ride a Stearns and Be Content bicycle ad. Oh, I have a stick. I have stickers like that. That's cool. Tag. Seven up. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at the Santa Claus. It looks like Russian Cyrillic. That's cool. Okay. Well, that is my haul. So thank you again so much for joining me through this uh, kind of Mondo haul -orama. And thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. If you like what you see, give a like and subscribe. If not, that's totally okay too. And I will see everybody in the next video. Bye.